Oops. There you go. <laughs> Strangely enough, we'll count you as a catch. Little rainbow trout, I kind of flung them right out of the water there, but that was fun. Is a really really good rainbow. That is a really nice rainbow trout. Oops, no. This is a really, really nice rainbow trout. Very happy that I caught him today. This is going to be a wild fish. They don't stock him. He's got the white tips on his, or her, on the fins anyway. So real happy I got this fish. Well, that was a really nice rainbow trout that I just took out of this pool. And uh, I'm actually not fishing my drop shot for a change. Just hoping to get into some active fish. Caught a little rainbow. Not sure which fly that one took, and then it was a really nice rainbow for this creek, and those fish are wild, so that's actually really, really cool. And they don't normally rig up like this because I usually get nothing but tangles, but I've been doing okay with it in terms of casting today. It's a two fly rig, and I could switch it over to a drop shot. I have my lower fly, which is just my fur nymph, my tag align, which I just left in case I do need a drop shot, which I was thinking about in this pool. And then I just tied a little overhand loop, put a little tag of line off of it, and I put a killer bug here. Um, I like the theory that maybe it'll move the flies a little more. I normally don't like doing this too often because a lot of times they just get tangles. There's an Italian version of Tenkara whose name escapes me at the moment that uh, regularly uses like a three fly setup like this. And it's intrigued me. Um, I may have to experiment with this a little bit. That very well could have been bottom. That is not bottom. Oh, and he's off. Damn. That's a nice fish. 